morning, YouTubers. What's going on? It's a beautiful Wednesday morning on Offit Lake. Yes, we're on Offit, and when I say we're, me and Brian. It's crazy. In what? A week? Weeks? We've been two times fishing already right, within a Friday week. And, uh, <laughs> today. today. But like I promised, uh, we got another new lake. I know I, I talked about going last year, and then we were supposed to go that one time with uh, Brian, but he had things, some things that came up. Um, stock report says they did uh, just drop some big ones in here what, about a week or two ago. You said angle on this slipper. Ah, perfect. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Yeah, well, uh, Brian's got his uh, hand, uh, his uh, head cam on, so we're gonna get some good uh, um, footage of that of him reeling in his big one today. He's gonna break his up. Uh, PB. So yes, the story so. behind that is uh, it was our was it our second time here or first time? Me and you together though. I think it was our first. First time, yeah, because yeah. I remember I got here before you and I caught a little seven incher, and then you pulled up, and then uh, we were trolling, dropping bait, nothing, nothing, nothing. So we went to the corner of Offic Lake here and uh, dropped anchor and decided to sit there. And he he was went, you went light, didn't you? With yep. a couple uh, split was a shots. A couple split shots with like a foot and a half and a couple of uh, the fluorescent yellow power eggs. Yep, and he got his, uh, you, you said it was your PB? Yeah, it's about, he got his PB. Five pounder there. The five pounder, yes. So uh, hopefully uh, we break that today and I can get my PB out here because my PB is only uh, like 13, 14, 13, 14. So. Hey, look, we just post it up. <laughs> but, uh, Go ahead and get some fishing going, guys. Yeah, I've been dealing with a swollen mouth. My uh, last wisdom tooth's been coming in. I had to call in to work on Monday and Tuesday, take some good drugs. Now I'll finally get back out here on the lake. Uh, thank you guys at work for covering for me. So which, which angle do you want to, do you want to troll this way? Yeah, troll up and then around. Yeah. So I brought my uh, shorter pole today. There you go. Going all along. Yeah, I retied my uh, both these poles just to make sure my knots were good. Like I said, I went with a little longer leader on the power bay. See, now a lot of the videos that uh, people have taken on this lake. They've caught all theirs right up in here. Yep. I think that's in part because they stock. Yeah, maybe. From there, too. Yeah. But I mean, I know it was end of February last year when we caught it, when we got that big one down on that other end. Yeah. So. Yes, yes, yes. It's hidden positions today, huh? Yeah. Oh, I also want to say what's up to all the new subscribers uh, that I met, and uh, you guys went ahead and uh, subscribed to my page and everything. Remember, like I told you guys, we're here to fish, but uh, we're actually here to, you know, talk talk about life and what's going on in the world, and uh, in the meantime, catch some fish, and then also, you know, educate you on what we know. You know, a lot of the ways that I do how I fish is the best way that uh, it's best for me. Um, I found out that uh, it really doesn't matter if you have a technique and it works, use it. Yep, that's the truth. And you know, the biggest thing I think I've learned out of everything is how you present your uh, your bait. You know, one day they might not want the yellow, they may not want the pink, they want the orange today, you know. Or maybe the black power bait's working, you know. <laughs> I mean, you never know, man. Some days you feel like you try everything you got. You still don't get them. Yeah. Then other days you can throw anything, you know what I mean? Other days we're catching them on all different kinds of colors. Yeah. Yeah, so one thing I did notice going through my archives, this is what, March 2nd? 2nd, 3rd, 3rd. March 3rd. I already, I already have 11 outings in since the new year started. And uh, compared to last year when I went on March 10th. So. 
crazy. Just find a little brown trout in the fall. That's right what now. I need to find me a brown trout, man. I have not caught one of those yet. They're all over uh, uh, St. Clair's. I have not caught now, a see, brown I've, trout. I've there. heard, I've heard that too. That people got big browns out of there. But and the stories are they, they've them gotten them, the they've gotten them on. Uh, I, I don't think they stock brown in there. I think they're the natural in there. And uh, the trout. ones that I talked that did has caught because usually you get all oh, my friend caught one out of there. It's usually a friend or they somebody they've heard, you know. Yeah. But I've actually talked to a couple people who said they they pulled them out of there and they said it was by chance too. See, I don't, I don't know if the brown trout are native. Well, I know in the report they have not stocked any any over the last four or five years. So, but people are pulling them out of there. So, yeah, they could have used to stock them out there and then stop. You know what I mean? And they were just procreating in there. Or holding, you know what I mean? Or holding, because I mean those fish will live. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you guys know any of the secrets of uh, Saint, Lake Saint Clair about the brown trout and everything, let us let me know. There's a specific specific way I gotta jig it up, you know. Well, that's like if you go on the, uh, the, the fishing website, like it'll still say that there's kokanee in Clear Lake, even though they haven't stocked them there uh, in like almost 10 years now. But don't they have a natural feed into that lake? It does. So that's why they probably they might have kokanee still. So I found out uh, Stillicum Lake in Lakewood. They have a uh, kokanee because they have that little natural inlet. What I was reading on there was it just you know they did it out there and um, it didn't. I guess it didn't end up being big and deep enough. Oh uh, yeah. Know what I mean. Oh that yeah maybe I was about to because uh, remember yeah we didn't hear beep beep no yeah. time and when I was driving home I said maybe I had the sound off on accident. <laughs> know that uh I bet you we were probably marking and hitting them uh, the whole time too. <laughs> right. Especially when we were docked near that shoreline. Yeah, he said that's where the it's deep. It's pretty deep there. And uh well, yeah we had another fish jump but it was not as big as the one we saw. So it was crazy. Nice. Oh who took the eraser off of that? My treble hook. I put an eraser on the both sides. Ah, it might get me off. So I'll, I'll be doing what I'm touching this. Unless my daughter's trying to sabotage me. Yeah, I'm sure it's some decent size hits. What helps is that this lake is uh, calm. Yeah. You saw the night and day? A fancy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it was so calm that day. Oh, and then uh, the, the sun came out. Dude, I took all, I had my t-shirt on. I was chilling. Yeah, it was definitely rough out there. We were out there in the boat, for sure. It's just so hard to fish, you know? Especially when we're, I mean, this boat just blow, you know, a little yeah, bit that, away. Yeah, that old guy, he recognized me. He goes, well, you guys were just here last week? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, back again, huh? I said, yep, I didn't fulfill my satisfaction of catching. And then I showed him a picture. He goes, no, that's a small one. That's a small steel, steel head. I'm like, you sure? He goes, yeah, how dark the top is and how silver the bottom was. And I said, yeah, I, I kind of thought, but then I just staring at it, I said, no, that looks like, because I was like, I thought they dropped in the big ones. He goes, it's usually a mixture. Not all of them are humongous. That little shower here, so, about 12 foot. I'm going to pretend it was still a rainbow and uh, I still haven't caught a steelhead because I want a big guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Purpose of trying to get to go there and capture one of those big dudes. <laughs> Got one? Yeah, I think I got some. Or some weeds. Am I already on? No. Oh no! 
Oh, I think that was weeds or something. Yeah, some weeds. Yeah, because I mean, at the last minute something was let go. Damn. Oh, false alarm, guys. I'll keep the net at the ready, so. <laughs> Oh, I like that already. Could have been already. Could have been hooked. But not quite just the How deep is it right there? We're about 25 right here. Something grabbed it. Yeah, days like this are definitely the days I like being out here. The wind, sunny. Yeah. Your Gerber? Yeah, that man's great. You had that Selenia last had it? Yeah. I might have an extras at the house. I bought them cheap. Oh, okay. I, was gonna say, I remember I was military, man. Yeah. I got Gerbers and knives and... I'm sure I got it somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know what I mean? Or maybe fell in the crack of your truck, maybe? Yeah, it might have fell in the crack of my truck. Or it might be in some of this fishing stuff here somewhere. Or it might be at my house. And I yeah. So my Yankees are two on one in spring league right now. How's the Mets doing? They won yesterday. Um, I don't know. They played one or two games. And another one first game. So those guys that are trying to make the roster are looking good then, huh? Well, the spring training is it's kind of kind of hard to get a good judgment. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's usually for those guys who are trying to make the team or make the farm. Yeah. So you'll see those guys heavy in the lineup. Like yesterday, we we had, uh, oh no, game two, we had our, our that Cole guy from that we got from Houston uh, two years ago. Yeah. He uh, started. He didn't look that bad. Then we had uh, one of our backup starters start yesterday. Then game one, uh, last week, uh, we... Uh, our, that, that pitcher, he, he's, a, he's a guy that's trying to make the farm team. He got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost that first game. We played against Toronto. Yeah, no, we played. Remember Vlad, Vlad Guerrero? Yeah. His son plays for Toronto. Another home run mach machine. What's deadly about Vlad was every ball that was thrown at him was a hittable ball. Yeah. No matter where it was. He's, especially those long ones, man. He was notorious for those. His son's just almost the same way. Any ball thrown at him is a hittable ball. He's got the fish that are popping up. Right and how far down does it look? Five to ten foot. That's it? Yeah. I'm going to be out too far. <laughs> I'm going to be deep too, too much. Too deep. Beautiful out here, bro. Yeah. Glad to be out here with you today. Oh, definitely. Oh, there you go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, crap. All right, we got Brian on the, on the nice trout. Oh, yeah. oh, you see that thing? Yep, take your time, take your time. Yep, take your time. I know we're excited. Yep, yep, bring it in nice and slow. If he wants to run, let him run. Oh, Jesus. Yep, take your time, big guy. Yep. I'll worry about my line in a bit here. Yep, he wants to go. He's trying to go. Yep, take your time. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, you see him. You can see him. There we go. Take your time. Yep. Yep. 
There he is. There he is. Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna run. Yep, 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 yep. Take your time. Picked his ass Holy up. Crap. God damn, he's a fucking tank, bro. <laughs> I'm f bombing all day. We got a tank right here, guys. Here, loosen that up so you can get more of the slack. There you go. And stand it up in your uh, your holster or the pole in the holster. Oh, this this is way bigger than that. You last sure? One. And guess what I brought today, guy? I brought the. Uh, 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 I thought I did. Well, maybe not. I thought I had the uh, scale. Oh, Brian. This this is your lake, bro. It is. <laughs> and what do you have on the end of that? Uh, that brown trout. That brown trout. Oh, see, I got the wedding ring on, man. That thing just hammered that. Ah, oh, nice. Good job, boss. Shake. Is that you shaking? I yeah. said, I feel you shaking, dude. <laughs> I had him hooked. Great way to get the morning started. Good job, guy. This is the biggest trout this new net scene too. Man. What can I get on? See, my kayak's named the Trout Slayer, but I'm not to name you that. Is my um, fish holder, whatever thing in my, I think it might be. Oh, there you go. One second, I'm gonna put this on the uh, thing here. Oh, I thought it was in here last week, though. Yeah, not in here, bro. Here. I should have mine. No, I got it. I didn't know I saw it last week. You gotta have it here somewhere, dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's the hog, man. It's right there. It's right there. I can't believe that, bro. Oh, shit. What a fight, too. Oh, uh, do you need pliers? I do. I got needle on those rags. Right. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I got my camera out. Look at the eggs coming out. Oh no, there's pizza. Oh, there's eggs. eggs. <laughs> I smell like eggs all over the boat, bro. Get rid of this rope. <laughs> Look at that 
fucking All right, hold up, man. Bad boy up. Oh, we got too much sun. But, hey, ready? Bam and bam. Got that. The fucking eggs yeah. around here. I can throw them back in there so that uh, the eggs can go in there for those guys. <laughs> look at all that rope. Yeah, look at <laughs> Oh. Free food. <laughs> Good stuff, homeboy. Because we're from New York. <laughs> Don't lose that bitch. It's so heavy. Oh. Yeah, double hook him. Double hook him. One on each side. Yeah, go through the other gill. Yeah, whatever, no, whatever, yeah, whatever gill you're not in. You, you want to bleed them? Cut the gills? It'll also, it'll also kill them, and it'll, it'll taste a lot better too. Is that triple hooking? That's up to you, bro. Because I think once we uh, we fucking excuse me, once we cut the gills on them, he's not gonna want to lose them. Look at this fucking <laughs> <dinner>! <laughs> Fucking million fucking sandwich. Oh. Alright, got that one. This one. Just a fucking beat. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> Sounds exciting. Dude, even if you don't catch one for the rest of the freaking day. Alright? Oh. Oh. I can catch my limit today and I'll be like 12 inches or 13. That still will be all, all five of mine. Dude, <laughs> peek over here to get all this stuff. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta try and get with it. It's crazy, son. So we could let people know on the video now that if we had a good recording for camera error, we lost it. But uh, I'm gonna look down here with the camera. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna put you on. That's a lot of eggs. Oh my god. So, we had a problem with the video camera, and Brian landed. Do you think this is personal best? Bigger than the last time we were here. That's, I think, that's big. When you agree. Look at all these eggs that have spilled out. Of it. Not the last one that he ate, so it shot firm on his last time. Yep. This one's an egg. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that last one was five pounds. I'm saying that one's got to be seven or eight. That's a big boy. So let me go recap. So go ahead, recap what happened. What happened on your end? Um, well, we were just, thought we had the intro video going and stuff still. And we were, we were just going like we are now, you know, 1.3, 1.4 miles an hour. And next thing I know, a big hit on the, you know, on the ground of power, towing. Ground with Paula, guys. And, no, uh, no, no flashes. Yep, ground with Paula. 
and I, I knew as soon as I grabbed the pole that it was a big one. And I mean, it hooked real good in the mouth. I had to actually cut the hook out for the knife. But it was it was running from us. It was running from us. Yeah, on my end, I just saw his pole go and him get excited, got me excited. And then uh, that's when I, was, I thought I was recording the whole thing. I mean, we were with, within what, 15, 20 minutes of being here? Yeah, 15 hours. That's what the guy said. That's what the guy said. And then he uh, moved that bad boy here. Of course, you know, I did the coaching. So I had some, some say in this, I guess. <laughs> And you we know think, when you're on the other end and you're ruling it in, you want to get in as quick as you can. Betty hits on the fish finder that she got after yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't barely bring his ass up. Uh, a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Oh. Holy holy. The bottom is empty now. Where the eggs were. Yeah, with full eggs. Yeah. Full eggs. <laughs> oh wow. Well, good job there, big guy. Yeah. One. You know, definitely with with the solid with with the solid net. You know, we got him got her on the first time we got it to the boat. So. And the other thing, we didn't turn on the GoPro when he caught that too. So he yeah. got it on now. Get video. We'll throw that in there. Well, hopefully. Uh, we said it when we got here. I said, I think it's going to be a good day. It's, you know, okay. ideal conditions. Yeah. Let's get another one, big guy. All right, man. That on video too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess what? Today is the day. I got a big one today. <laughs> yes. Where was the coaching dog? I'm trying to bring that bitch in. <laughs> I was I was too focused on trying to get the camera going. Cause oh, I had to find the power on button and then I had to hit the recording to oh, go. Oh, let me turn my, I didn't even turn mine on. So okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, we got one big fish on camera, so. No donut for me. Second big one of the day on the boat. All right. Total off to end of the way. All right, guys, we just got another one. This time I landed. I'm not, big, not as big as his, but it's big. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good, that's a, yeah, not as big as the one I got, but that's a big guy, no yeah. doubt. No on the doubt. same lure that he used. Same lure. Down tap, tap the pump. Uh, sorry if we do it this way guys, but like I said, the camcorder is different dust on us, but uh, let me get this thing out and uh, we'll take some pictures. Oh, yes. Yes. I seen that one hit the pole too. <laughs> I'd rest them right on that cooler and take some pressure off the net. Oh, look where I got them up. That's right where I had them too. I had to cut it out. It was in there so good. Down there. Okay, don't eat off. Don't eat off. Alright y'all, 
nice blue long one. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, you can nail that too, guy. Oh, that's awesome. Nice, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Well, it's not trouble though. Okay. Right. Make it. You know, just the average. Probably plan to be just probably one of the small plants back in November. How do that? I got a cutty. A red mark under there? Yep. Oh, you got the first cutty, bro. Oh, out here. Your first cutty out here. Hell yeah. That's my first cutty ever. Ever? Oh, yep. Man. Good job, son. Second cut throw to the day. You got your first cutty. Hell yeah. See the red cut throw mark on the show, dude. You can't hold that big deal.
wrapping up our day of fishing. Like you said before we started recording, definitely result-wise, top day we've ever had. Thank you.